Greetings, Faith family, and thank you for joining me on this Wednesday update. Now, I'm in our sanctuary, but I am at the doors leading out into the narthex. And so what I want you to notice is the sign above these doors. I'm sure you've noticed this before, but the sign above the doors reads, you are now entering the mission field. That as we leave worship every Sunday, we go out into the world to be the hands and the feet and the voice and the presence of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, whether that's at work, school, or whether it's on a mission trip. And this Sunday is Mission Sunday. So we have some special uh, guest speakers from Lifeline and from Henderson Settlement, and they're going to be speaking to us this Sunday. But it's going to be two great worship services, 8.30, 10.45. We hope you can join us. Again, it's Mission Sunday. And after second service, we have a carry-in. We're asking people to bring in a side, a salad, or a dessert. Now, the meat is going to be furnished, and I think we're going to have a lot of food. So the Mission Committee is providing the Sloppy Joe's hot dogs and chicken. So that's, there's going to be a lot of food there. So the meat's going to be provided. So bring a side, a salad, or a dessert. Mission Sunday, this coming Sunday. Also, as we begin this new year, just want to remind everyone, this church is very, very busy. This church just isn't busy on a Sunday. We are busy practically Sunday through Saturday. So if you um, are wanting to utilize the church facilities, if you have an event that you would like to um, have at the church, please contact the church office. Con contact Carol Simmons, um, our office administrator, um, for, for, uh, for you to be able to reserve a room, a spot in the church um, so that we know that it is available. So even on the monthly calendar, we're so busy, we can't put everything on the monthly calendar. So if you look at the monthly calendar and think that uh, a space is free, it may or may not be free. So if you're going to utilize the building for anything, um, please contact us and make sure that there is a space reserved for you. Also, uh, beginning on January 22nd, I have a new sermon series that we are beginning. It's five weeks and it's on overcoming the obstacles to our faith, overcoming obstacles to our faith. So we're going to be looking at, at such things as, as shame, shame of what we've done in the past, uh, contentment, the storms of life that come and uh, take us away from our faith or, or bring doubts into our lives or, or just the culture around us, all these things that can be obstacles to our faith. Again, that begins on January 22nd. Also, I, I'm gonna, uh, we're going to switch over a, a really quick announcement from our, from our Kingdom Kids Daycare. They opened up a new classroom just for infants. And so uh, Marissa, our daycare assistant, as well as Kelly, our director, um, they're just going to bring a quick word about that new class and just a thank you for all of those who have been praying for them. So we'll switch over to that and then switch back for a quick time of prayer. Hi church, uh, we just wanted to say thank you so much for the prayers because this week we opened up our infant room. I have here one of the babies from the room and he is loving it so far. We just want to say on behalf of Kingdom Kids, thank you so much for the prayers and continued support. And thank you so much for the prayers in the future. <laughs> Well, I do appreciate Marissa and uh, Kelly and all that they're doing with Kingdom Kids. Uh, that was one cute baby. He was in our, he was in our staff meeting all, all day this morning, and I think he, he, was the, he was the star of the show. But here are, some, here are some prayer requests. First of all, Grady, we've been praying for Grady. He's uh, um, one of those enrolled at Kingdom Kids, but battling cancer. And he's had some side effects to the chemo where he has been very ill. So please pray for, for Grady. Pray for Irene Wiesner. She lost her sister, Evelyn Hale. So please pray for that family. Now, Evelyn was a, a, a believer. And, uh, she was a follower of Christ. And so we believe that she is in heaven today. But please pray for Irene and the family. Also, uh, Tyler Dew, our youth and children's director, um, has asked us to pray for Mike Callahan. He's battling cancer. So pre please put Mike Callahan on your prayer list and also Christine Rol Rolston R-O-L-S-T-O-N is having surgery so please pray for these people but as we close let us close in a word of prayer 
Most gracious God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your love and for your grace. I thank you for this church and just how busy this church is. Uh, we thank you for the daycare. And we thank you for the ministry we have with the daycare. Dear God, I, I, pray, for, I pray for Kelly. I pray for Marissa. I pray for the staff. Dear God, I pray that you will bless them as they are a blessing to these families. Dear God, we thank you for um, our heart for missions of, of leaving this church and being the hands and the feet and the voice and the presence of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. I pray for those who will be coming to speak to us on Sunday. And as we gather for a meal, I pray that as we break bread together, that you will bring us closer to one another and closer to you. Dear God, we thank you. You are our healing God. And so we pray for Grady and for Mike and for Christine. We ask for you to touch their bodies in a special way that you'll give them healing. And dear God, we pray for Irene and for the family as they mourn the passing of her sister, Evelyn. Dear God, we pray that you will reassure them that, um, that you are a God who is, who is bigger than death. You are bigger than sin. That you have saved us, set us free, and that we are just sojourners until we make it to our heavenly home. And so, dear God, we just thank you again for this day and for your blessings in our lives. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless. And also, I would like to mention when it comes to, to the daycare, I think we have an, enroll, an enrollment of about 115 kids right now, which is absolutely awesome. So continue to pray for the daycare. But have a wonderful and blessed day. Thank you.